Hey guys, it's Mish, and today, instead of my usual video on a study, I wanted to talk about body typing, which is this weird little set of theories that people tend to refer to a lot when talking about trying to get fit or lose weight. If you've ever heard someone say, I'm an ectomorph, so I stay skinny easily, or I'm a mesomorph, so I put on muscle easily, or I'm an endomorph and I gain weight so easily it's really hard to lose weight. These are all examples of body typing terms. And in general, people don't really seem to understand where it came from and what it means and whether or not it actually holds any validity. <laughs> so this whole set of theories was developed by a psychologist in the 1940s and is referred to as constitutional psychology because this psychologist, Sheldon, was trying to deter people's personality based on their body type, which seems kind of crazy, right? <laughs> so he had this theory that ectomorphs, which were people who were lean and skinny, and he said that they tended to be isolated and introverted and anxious and tense and didn't enjoy going out with people and that kind of thing. And he said for mesomorphs, which are people who are able to put on muscle easily or just muscular people who are outgoing and hardy and hard workers and confident, they're just the kind of people you want to hang out with. And endomorphs, which are people who are large, he described them as large and round and pale, I think, and said that they enjoyed food. Well, that one's probably kind of obvious just based on how we know people gain weight and lose weight and that they enjoyed comforts and staying at home and not moving much and they had slow reflexes. So this whole set of theories has been completely debunked these days, but for some reason people are still talking about them as if they are valid fitness science terms. Like being an ectomorph means it's going to be very easy for you to lose weight and you'll stay skinny, you're naturally skinny, but really there's no such thing as naturally skinny or naturally fat. It's more like your set of genetics and habits and things you like and your desired exercise and all that kind of come together to determine your body weight, which really is just how much and what type of food you're eating compared to how much you're exercising. And so this set of terms about body types was actually developed in the time of eugenics, which as some of you may know was pretty awful because it was trying, like the whole eugenics movement was trying to improve the genetic pool of humanity, which sounds great, but how they were doing it was forced sterilization of disabled people and forced abortions and forced pregnancies of people with good genes. So this whole constitutional psychology body typing thing actually arose out of eugenics. And so now the idea that you can determine people's personality traits from their body is very discredited. So if you ever come across the term ectomorph, endomorph, or mesomorph, keep in mind that it actually has no bearing in science and it is just a theory by a guy who is accused of falsifying a lot of data and being an all-around messed up guy who stole nudes from a bunch of Ivy League undergraduates to study. So as I'm sure you have noticed in your daily lives, people's personalities vary a lot and are very distinct even if they have the same body type. Although that part of it isn't focused on in the fitness circles, in fact most people who throw around these terms don't even know it came from psychology. And the theories are completely inaccurate when it comes to psychology, and they are also inaccurate when it comes to physiology. So you're not a type, you're just a person, you're an individual, and your genetics and your habits and environment have all come together to result in what your current body type is. But you can actually change all of these things, first by creating good habits and deciding to make the change, and that in turn can actually affect your genes through epigenetics and methylation and all these fancy terms that I will cover in a future video about how fitness and good diet can change your genes in a way that will help you stay skinny and lean. And I feel like the reason that somatotype theory has gained traction and continues to be used in the modern day, or thrown around rather, is because people like to attribute their circumstances to outside forces frequently. So while it is possible that your current circumstances are in part result to genetic factors that are out of your control, for the most part, you are in charge of what your body looks like. If you feel that you're overweight, you can lose that weight just by changing your diet and working out. And if you're really skinny and you want to gain some weight, you can do the exact same thing, just eat more, lift weights, and you should see your body change. And if you're muscular, well, you probably don't want to change that, but if you want to shrink your muscles, you can go for long distance runs and eat less. Easy. Thanks so much for watching, and please share, subscribe to see more videos.